That's it. <laughs>and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is serena hence the intro that's so rena you get it corny i know but that's just how we are here in today's video we are collaborating with a company by the name of eunice hair um, they reached out to me in collaboration for the video the video is not sponsored but the hair was sent to me for free in hopes for a review so that's what we will be doing today also send over this headband that says eunice very cute. It also had the um, hairnet inside, the wig cap, excuse me, not hairnet, inside, and it had adjustable straps for the wig. And I have not opened the wig yet, so it is um, a first impressions video. I usually don't do color, so I wanted to branch out and do color. It came in a box like this, and then it was, the hair was in a bag like this. Well, it still is because I didn't get it yet and I didn't open it yet. It is 18 inches and it is a one with a 99J uh, color at the bottom. And take, it comes in this hairnet. I'll take the hairnet off. Ooh, the hair is very, very soft, you guys. It does look very good. It smells very lovely, by the way. And yeah, a lot of movement. The hair color is not so blunt. It does have tissue paper in here. It's gonna remove that. And it is a closure wig, not a frontal wig. So it does have just this amount of lace on it. And this is what the inside looks like. Two combs in the front and one in the back, mm -hmm. two combs in the front and one in the back. There is no combs on the inside, which I enjoy because it gets caught, you already know, if you follow me, I don't always wear a, um, a hair cap, but today I am. And so yeah, I'm excited to see how this wig looks. This is how it looks without any customization, okay? Pretty cute. Now you don't really have to worry about much with a closure wig. Now with a frontal wig, that's a totally different story. But I like this because it's very beginner friendly and you know, it's something new that I haven't done before on my channel, yet alone ever actually. Y'all were very surprised about the blonde so I was dying to get my hands on this red. Well, like this burgundy. I think that's what 99J is, burgundy. And it comes through very nicely. It's no tangling happening, a lot of movement, and all of that, I got two strands of hair. Two strands. I don't know if y'all can see that. I got two strands of hair. Not a big deal. We're gonna get into installing this guy, so. I am going to take my scarf off. This is good if you have to lay your edges, anything like that. I don't really have much going on i have my edges out just a little bit but this is the wig cap that they sent me it is black i know some of y'all like um blonde wigs some hair companies send blonde some people i mean not wigs some of you like lighter color beige wig caps but black hair caps that's fine with me especially if it's a closure wig you just add makeup to the part and then it will just blend right in so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna flip it here and then I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer right here where the part is gonna go and I'm gonna take my LA girl pro concealer in this shade fawn out and I'm just gonna run that down where the part is all right already is looking more realistic right so not much really has to be done I just make sure that the you know, the concealer is ran down and pretty much the excess lace and then the excess lace is cut off. So, yeah. All right, we just ran that across and this is how it's looking now. See the difference between then and there? It's more closer to my skin tone. So then I'm just gonna cut off the excess lace on the front. You don't really need this to be perfect. Again, like I said, 
because it's a closure wig, not a frontal wig. So all I'm really doing is pulling the hair back some and taking the scissors and literally just cutting that off. Okay, so here's the lace I just cut off. And it's best if you go like in zigzags as you cut along, but you know, you don't have to. It could be straight across. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plop this on my head. Wow, okay. And let me pull this back some. I'm gonna wear her as a middle part. And I'm just gonna comb her out. Ooh, you guys. I wonder what my boyfriend's gonna say. He's never seen me in this color. Uh, I had a red shortcut back in the day, but it's been a minute. <laughs> I wonder what he's gonna think. Wow, you guys, I'm loving it. It's very, it moves with me. It's not stiff at all. And yeah, it looks very, very nice. So here's how it looks. And for the record, I am 5'3". The wig is 18 inches and I will stand up so you can see how long it comes on me. Right here, which is mid-back area. That's how far down it comes on me. If I pull it to the front, it is right here. My chest, my chest right here, so I'm pretty pretty enough length for me if you ask me I know some people like it longer they do have longer um, options available but I just think that this is so me you guys and it's not a lot you have to do to it you can do your little swoops before you know your little edges before you apply the wig cap that way when you apply the wig you already have your baby hairs um, pulled out and laid so that if there's any wind and it flies back, nothing will be seen, but nothing can be seen because, yeah, it just lays very flat on your head. Um, I love this wig, I would recommend it. Um, I'm gonna wear it out a little bit so that I can come back and do like a post uh, wig update or a um, later on review, probably in a vlog or something. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, this will be here for a Instagram picture near you. <laughs> so remember to follow me on Instagram and make sure to check out Eunice Hair. And thank you, Eunice, for partnering with me to make this video for my babies, my family. I will have all the hair information down below in the description box. So be sure to check them out. And until next time, guys. Bye.